Hey you guys, um, I'm having to be quiet because my parents are literally on the other side of the wall and I'm doing this in the middle of the night because I'm just now remembering that tomorrow's Saturday. I have been wanting to do this video, this type of video, for a long time. But before we get into this video, I want to tell you that it's going to be split into chapters that once this premiere is over with, you can go back at certain times, watch which chapter you want to watch. I'm also going to talk about a new series that I really want to do. But yeah, let's get into the video. So, growing up, I had this doll named Jojo. Now, I'm not saying that this doll is what made me who I am today, but I grew an attachment with this doll. And growing up, I have grown to attach myself with things, inanimate objects, whether it be my phone, whether it be my any electronic. I mean, I'm still finding things that I'm attached to and obsessive with. And my doll, his name was Jojo. I was obsessed with him. And I mean, I don't, I don't have to make this video, but I just, I just want to, I just want to kind of introduce myself and get you to know a little bit more about me and who I am. Like I said, growing up, I found myself attaching to things, to objects, and it hasn't left me. Like, I'm a 24 year old adult, or I'm about to be 24 in a couple months. And that part of me being attached to something has not left. Right now it's my phone which I am trying to break the habit. Right now, I'm building a puzzle. Melanie Martinez puzzle. I'm putting together that puzzle. But growing up, I'm, I know you're gonna hear this from everybody you talk to that's in the LGBT community, but growing up, I really did feel different. I didn't feel like I was a part of the guys and I didn't feel like I was a part of the girls, you know? I felt in between because I would do masculine things and I would do feminine things and I just feel like I didn't fit into any group and I was my own person people did not like that I didn't like I live in the country and people like to go hunting People like to go fish. I mean, I like to go fishing. I'm not going to say that. But I'm not into hunting. I'm not into monster trucks, farming, killing an animal. I, like, I don't know. It's like nobody raised me not to do these things. It's like self-taught things. Like, I just felt deep down, like, I'll eat a burger. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a vegan. I, I can't be vegan. Like, I can't cut out meat. I love meat. Because I crave it a lot. I mean, I know you got to fight your cravings. But I can't, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but I probably am going to sound like a hypocrite. But... I I don't see, unless you're hunting for resources, I don't see a problem with it. But hunting for, like trophy hunting, I feel like that is so wrong. I feel like that, it, like that is so inhumane. Like, oh yeah, I killed a deer. My buddy killed a deer. It was just, baby, baby, baby. Like, that to me, that is awful. Again, these are my opinions. These are my opinions. Everything I say in this video is my opinion. So please do not take to heart what I say. This is how I feel. And if you feel any different, 
you can tell me, but I'll try not to be upset. But, I mean, just like I don't want you to be upset with what I see. I mean, at the end of the day, we can agree to disagree. Whether if I agree or disagree. Number two, music. Like, this is kind of a continuation of chapter one-ish. But music has been with me my whole life. Music is what takes me out of my world. Like, this world here. Like, I can put earbuds in and I'm somewhere else. I'm in that space that the artist has created. They could be singing about being in a tunnel or something. And I'm in a tunnel. I mean, not physically, but I can see myself in a tunnel. My being. I mean, not me personally, like, physical being. But I can somewhat vision me in a tunnel. That's what I was trying to say. I can vision seeing me in a tunnel. But yeah, music is just something I love. I, something I've grew up with. Something I've been addicted to. Just like inanimate objects. Like the sound and the bass and the drums of music. It just takes me somewhere. That. A lot of things don't. Whenever I'm feeling angry, whenever I'm feeling anxious, the majority of the time, unless like it's a very high intense event or place or moment or something, most of the time music will take me out of those places. Most of the time. Not all the time. Now there's some times where I've like got anxiety to the high heavens and even music's not helping. It's just my anxiety's there. And then I start shaking. And it's like nothing's even happening for me to have anxiety. Which brings me to chapter three. I'm guessing you could say this video is kind of like a diary or like a therapy session, I guess. Like I'm talking to a therapist or something. But I just... I don't want to say I have anxiety when I don't. But there are intense moments like at least once or twice a week or three times a week to where I'm breathing hard and like I'm ha I have to sit down just for a minute. Even when things are going perfectly fine, it's just like a random anxiety attack or something just comes out of freaking nowhere. Whether that be someone looking at me, whether that someone just be walking by or something, it just, I don't know. It's just something triggers it, and I don't know what. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just scared of people. I don't know if I'm, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't tell you, but I can sit in front of a camera. I can sit in front of a camera, talk to it like it's my best friend I've known my whole life, and have a full-on conversation. But dear God, if I'm at a public event, work, or something, I can't do it. I can't speak in a crowd. I mean, I can speak in a crowd and look like an idiot, and people would make fun of me, but I can't. I have to be one-on-one -on -one with people. I don't like talking in groups. And then I feel awkward talking in groups, but I still try to do it just so I can overcome that fear. But I've been doing this for like, Four years. I've worked at a fast food restaurant. Now I'm working at an industry plant. Like a air conditioner plant. And I'm still having the same experiences. I guess that's really what I wanted to talk about anxiety. Just wanted you to know that I can talk to you on camera as much as I want to. But in messages or... I don't... I don't I don't like FaceTiming. I don't like video chatting. I'd rather see you in person. I, it's, uh, it's weird. Like, I'd rather see you in person if I want to talk to you. But I'd rather record a video and upload it on social media for everybody to see. But I don't like talking in groups of people. I, 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 don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's that I've grew up in the technical technological age and I've just been addicted I've just been 
accustomed to it or what, but I, I have no idea. But now we're going to talk about religion. This is a touchy subject. Because I don't want to upset people in my life or somewhat in my life. Because I still believe in God. I still believe that there is a creator. But, and I'm even kind of scared to say this online. But, I mean, I know it's none of anybody's business. I understand that. But, this is therapy for me. This this makes me open up, I guess. But, to me, and I understand that people wrote down or carved stuff in stones when Jesus was here and God was here. But, to me, God does exist, or a creator. It doesn't have to be the God. I mean, it can be. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not de I'm not denying. I am not denying the Bible, and I'm not denying Jesus. But I'm just saying that there is a possibility that the book that you hold every Sunday is not true. I believe in God. I, be I mean... There is no, like, this world is too complex, and it's got, like, so much stuff, like, so different, many animals, different, like, there's so much things in this world that it could not have come from nothing. It had to come from something. To, for me, this is my opinion. You do not have to agree. If you can't agree, it don't matter. Like, there's so many different, I mean, I understand some things are man-made, but... I mean, think of it like the sun, the galaxy. The, like I feel like science and God just goes together. People like to separate the two, but I feel like they go together. I feel like science and God go together. And like, I know that we've like, I know God has gave us tools to work in our life. But at the same time, I don't feel like we made everything we see. See, like, you, t you can't tell me trees came out of nowhere. You can't tell me that our brains are functioning right now just because we came from the dirt. You know, like, that to me, I don't know. I just, that don't make sense to me. I don't understand how we could just came up from nothing. I don't understand how we came from Nothing. At all. Just boom, bam, we're here. I don't understand that. I feel like there is a creator. And. I mean, it could be God. It could be. A person we've. We, a name we don't even know. Basically what I'm saying is I believe in God. I believe in a creator. But I do not believe in a book. Which also I'm not denying the book. But if I do die. And that book is correct. I'm not going to deny that I didn't trust God's word. Does that make sense? Like just because I'm not. 100% on the Bible does not mean that I'm turning away from God and I'm going a different way. Like, I still believe in God. I still trust God. I still believe that we came from God. I just don't believe a man-made Bible that's been revisited a couple times, reworded a couple times. Like, it don't make sense to me. Moving on. So, now we have gotten away from, like, my personal details. Kind of. I, I opened up a little bit. Maybe I'll open up a little bit more. I want to talk about my new seri series coming out next week, which I'm filming sometime this week to upload next week. <sighs> I'm so excited. I have been wanting to do this for a while. But Apple Music... They do a new music weekly. Like they'll pick out songs for you. 
based on your likes and your listens and stuff. And I'm going to start reacting to those songs. So if I follow you and I like your songs, you might end up in that. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm also going to do reactions to albums and songs that I'm excited for. I am doing a reaction to Roach Killers by Todrick Call, the whole album, not next week, but the next. I hope that even if you don't agree with anything that I said and whatever you believe in, I love you. I will stand by you. I hope that whatever you believe in is the correct way. I feel like we're put on this earth to have differences. We're put on this earth to understand differences. We're supposed to see world in different ways. I mean, if everybody was the dang same, this world would be boring and then there'd be no point of living. Like, would you want to see, like, one million and billions of people that act exactly like you? I, I, would, I would not want another me. Let me tell you, I do not want another me. We're all human. I mean, we, we, we may fight. And I feel like both sides are any side of the political party they're both arguing over the same stuff and they're wanting the same things but they're both not understanding the other side's point of view I feel like it's oh it's my side and the only side no there's two sides of the story understand it I, until we can come to freaking gather and understand crap we, we're not going to get nowhere people like to argue <laughs> agree to disagree i'm not going to do that why not i mean don't i mean here's the thing don't let anybody steal your shine but at the same exact time don't steal their shine neither we're not to me, I've, I'm 24. I've only been out in the adult world for like a couple of years. And I've seen nothing but madness and school shootings. And I mean, I've seen a lot of deadly things that I did not see. I mean, I probably, I mean, I probably did see it, but I didn't. I was too naive and didn't care enough when I was younger to see it. But I feel like there is a new shooting every freaking day. There is someone complaining about something. I mean, I'm over here complaining about somebody complaining, but that, that's besides the point. I'm over here just talking. We just got to communicate. I mean, even if you're shaking, if what you believe is true, say it while being respectful. I, I understand why people say don't grow up. I get it. It's not about the bills. It's not about what they said, what she said, what he said. It's just life's hard when you grow up. Like, think about it. When you're a child, you get everything handed to you. I mean, not everything. My parents didn't give me everything I wanted. And it made me grateful for things I did have. I mean, now that I have my own job, I do get whatever I want, I guess. But, I mean from paycheck to paycheck but we just got we've just got to come together i don't understand the hatred and the the violence the backlash of people the cancellation to me i understand cancel culture i see both parties like i understand you want to get somebody canceled because of something they did and i'm not backing up these people by what i'm about to say i am not backing up these people but I do want to say that in those moments, they probably don't realize what they're doing or what they're saying until after it's done. And then they have to deal with the repercussions of it. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to have repercussions. So my next video will be my new music weekly. The other video next week will be Roach Killers by Todrick Call. I'm so excited for that. I love Todrick Call. 
I have seen some of the music video for Yas, but I've also heard it from House Party too, so I kind of already know what it sounds like, and I already kind of know how Tiffany sounds on it, but I have not heard the full extended version, so I'm excited for that. Thank y'all for watching. I I appreciate y'all sitting down with me, and if y'all watch the full thing, I appreciate y'all for being here and clicking on my video, and I'm happy that our paths have crossed. I'm happy that even if you didn't get anything from this and you didn't like the video, I still appreciate you clicking on my video and giving me a chance. Like, that means the world to me. I mean, it's not the views. It's not the likes. It's not the dislikes. It's that you gave me a freaking chance to say what I wanted to say. I don't want to say I'm in a bad headspace, but I'm not in a, like, wonderful, great headspace. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm kind of in the middle. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not bland. I mean, I'm still laughing. I'm still cutting up. I'm still having a good time. But it's like, I want to be by myself. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look back on this and regret it. But right now, I just, I want to be by myself. I don't want to be around people. I don't want to be, I mean, I hope, I hope that I grow out of that. I don't want to be the neighbor you never see down the street, you know? Like, I've only seen, seen him leave a couple times a day or, or a week. I, I don't want to be that. I want to be some, I want to be like a, I don't know, just be kind to people. And my 20, 23 has started off to a, excuse my language, but a shitty, shitty, shitty year. It started off so shitty. My cat passed away that I have raised. Well, I didn't raise her. She was already kind of trained when I got her. I mean, she was two or three when we got her. So she already knew how to use a litter box. She already knew how to get around and didn't make messes. I miss my friend. I miss I miss everything about her. I miss her meowing. I miss her hopping on the bed with me while I'm going to sleep and her body just her like I'm trying not to cry. <sighs> I mean, it's been five months, so I should not be sad again. I mean, time don't always heal wounds, but it, I mean, it should, somewhat should. Life is short, let me tell you. I know I keep pondering and talking, and but it's like, this is helping me. To getting everything out that I want to get out. And luckily, I stopped almost crying, so that's good. I mean, I'm kind of getting tired, too, so it's kind of a all together. And that might... I mean, I know I'm whispering and I know I'm talking soft, but I don't want to be yelling like, hey, especially not this type of video because I feel like this is a personal video for me and I, I don't need to be over the top or I'm talking to you as a friend, whoever's watching, even if like I don't know you, even if you are one of my closest friends, my family, my coworker, I don't, I, I don't give a damn who's watching this. I'm just happy that I'm talking to someone. To whoever's watching. Even if no one watches at all and it's just me, that completely fine. I am content if I got no views on this video. I don't views mean nothing. The only thing that matters is me and my happiness. And if the views don't get where I go, then so be it. I I will be content. I will find something else. Thank y'all for watching, and I'm glad y'all clicked on this video, and if y'all stayed throughout the whole thing, I appreciate it. If y'all didn't stay throughout the whole video, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all did, since y'all are hearing me say these words, then y'all probably stayed throughout the whole video. But, I want to thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all clicking on my video, and if y'all have any recommendations to react, or if y'all have any video ideas that you want me to do, or if you want me to do anything on any other social media platform that I have, please contact me in the comments below. Or put suggestions in the comments and I will I will do them. More than likely. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Watch my other videos if you like this one. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you for crossing paths. Bye.